Have you ever wondered why, despite your best efforts, the balance of respect and admiration can sometimes tilt unexpectedly in your interactions with women? Well, today we're unraveling a paradox that's pivotal yet elusive for many men. The idea that for a woman to truly value and be attracted to you, she must perceive you as someone she has not fully secured or emotionally conquered. It's a concept that might seem at odds with what we've been taught about connection and availability. But as we peel back the layers, you'll discover the profound truth hidden within. In this episode, we're not just discussing tactics. We're integrating the age-old wisdom of Stoicism to show how virtues like self-control, resilience, and valuing oneself can fundamentally shift your romantic interactions for the better. By cultivating these qualities, you create an aura of genuine self-worth and mystery that can enhance how you are perceived in the eyes of others, particularly women. So buckle up as we dive deep into these insights, backed by psychological theories and philosophical rigor, to help you understand how to maintain respect, admiration, and attraction without compromising your integrity or emotional well-being. Let's get started. Number one, the hard truth about attraction. Let's dive into a difficult truth that many overlook. Attraction rarely thrives in the comfort of certainty. It's a paradox of human nature, especially in romantic relationships, that when a woman feels she completely has you, something vital fades in the dynamic. It's not that women want to play mind games or crave constant turmoil. Rather, it's about how emotional intrigue, the subtle sense of uncertainty, adds a dimension of depth to attraction. A man who embodies a sense of self-sufficiency, who doesn't rely on others for validation, becomes undeniably magnetic. He's not ignoring her, nor is he overly available. Instead, he exudes a calm sense of self-assurance and mystery. She wonders about his thoughts, about what truly matters to him, and, most importantly, if he sees her as someone unique in his life. That slight uncertainty, the idea that she may not have fully won him over, keeps her captivated. Stoicism, in its essence, teaches us to seek peace and fulfillment from within, rather than relying on external validation. A stoic-minded man knows that his self-worth doesn't come from anyone's approval. He's not looking for her to complete or define him. He's grounded in who he is and that inner calm and independence create a magnetic allure. Because he doesn't bend to please or adapt just to gain her favor, he naturally creates a dynamic where she finds herself wanting to know more, to uncover more layers, and to connect on a deeper level. The woman in this scenario doesn't necessarily want to feel like she's not enough. No one does. But in a way, this feeling ignites a spark, a drive to understand him, to break through that subtle wall he's put up. She's drawn to his self-contained strength and the mystery it presents. And if we're honest, isn't mystery a key part of attraction? When a man's approval isn't handed over freely, it keeps her engaged, reminding her that his love, if given, is a rare and precious thing. This doesn't mean playing hard to get or constantly being aloof. It's about embodying a sense of purpose and self-worth that doesn't waver, regardless of who is or isn't in his life. He's not cold. He's calm. He's not unfeeling. He's emotionally self-sufficient. When a man operates from this place, he never needs to push her away or act indifferently. His presence alone keeps her wondering keeps her invested, because she feels that he's not swayed by outside forces, even her. In short, the more a man cultivates his inner life and builds his self-worth independently, the more intriguing and desirable he becomes. It's a fine balance between being emotionally available 
and yet grounded enough not to need constant reassurance or approval. This delicate equilibrium is where true attraction lives, where she feels an undeniable pull towards him, not because he's unreachable, but because his sense of self doesn't rest in her hands. Number two, why certainty fades interest. Have you ever wondered why some women seem magnetically drawn to the men who never fully satisfy their emotional needs? It may seem counterintuitive, even harsh, but the allure lies in the mystery, in that subtle distance that makes her question where she stands. Picture it like this. Imagine reading a book that gives you every answer in the first chapter. There's no journey, no suspense, nothing left to wonder about. It's the same in relationships. When everything feels certain, that initial spark of intrigue can quickly fade. In a relationship, if a woman feels completely secure, if she knows every thought and feeling you have for her, there's a strange paradox that often occurs. Her excitement can start to diminish. The more predictable you become, the less space there is for her imagination, her curiosity, her desire to seek and understand you on a deeper level. She wants to feel valued, yet something in her psyche is sparked by that hint of uncertainty, that subtle feeling of wanting to know more. Think of it like walking through a dimly lit hallway. Every turn reveals a bit more, but not everything. She's compelled to keep moving forward to learn more about you. Now, compare this with a well-lit room where everything is out in the open. Once she's seen it all, she's likely to lose the drive to keep looking. When you reveal every thought, every feeling, every intention, you're essentially placing her in that brightly lit room. No shadows, no intrigue, no draw. Here's where a touch of stoicism comes in. Rather than pouring all your emotions into the relationship, shift the focus slightly inward. Practice emotional autonomy, a state where your happiness, your peace, isn't entirely reliant on her approval or constant validation. This doesn't mean withholding affection or playing games. Instead, it's about maintaining a sense of self, of calm confidence that doesn't waver with her reactions. When you cultivate this quiet strength, it subtly signals that while you care, your sense of fulfillment isn't completely dependent on her. Consider the impact. A woman who senses this grounded independence in a man will often find herself more drawn to him, feeling captivated by the parts of him she can't quite reach. She'll wonder why she can't fully have him, why he doesn't seem as eager to fill every emotional void. And it's that wondering that keeps her engaged, invested, and in a way, yearning for his presence. Seneca once said, he who depends on himself will attain the greatest happiness. This isn't about isolation, but about finding inner strength, a steady foundation that doesn't rely on anyone else. This isn't being aloof, it's being complete. When a woman senses this self-assuredness, she'll find herself continually intrigued, captivated by the subtle, elusive parts of you. And in a world that constantly seeks certainty, a bit of mystery can be an incredibly powerful thing. The question isn't whether she's drawn to you because she feels inadequate. It's that she's drawn to the sense that there's always more to discover. That little bit of distance makes her lean in, eager to fill the gaps and uncover what she can't quite reach. And that, in a way, keeps the spark alive, making her want you just a bit more every day. Number three, the power of being unavailable. It's a fascinating aspect of attraction. Women tend to gravitate towards men who keep them feeling as if they're always just slightly out of reach emotionally. This doesn't mean being distant or neglectful. Rather, it's about creating an air of mystery and prioritizing your life in a way 
that leaves her wanting more. It's about being unavailable in a way that makes her question what you're up to, who you're with, and whether she truly has all of your attention. This intrigue, this small dose of insecurity, keeps her invested. Imagine this. A woman meets a man who, unlike the others, doesn't immediately rearrange his life for her. He has his own priorities, his own goals, and his time is precious. When she texts, he doesn't always reply right away. When they plan to meet, he sometimes has to reschedule because he's busy focusing on his career or personal projects. Initially, she might feel a bit frustrated, even annoyed. But slowly, that frustration transforms into curiosity. She starts to wonder, why am I not his top priority? And it's precisely that question that keeps her drawn in. Consider a man who is used to being overly available, always at her beck and call, always eager to meet at her convenience. But he decides to change his approach. One night, she invites him out last minute, expecting him to drop everything to join her as he usually would. But this time, he responds differently. He politely declines, letting her know he already has plans for the night, maybe a work event or a commitment with friends. Instead of feeling rejected, she feels intrigued. She wonders who he's with, what he's doing, and most importantly, why he's not prioritizing her. She realizes he has a life outside of their dynamic, a life that doesn't revolve around her. This slight shift in behavior changes everything. Suddenly, he's not just always available. He's not someone she can predict. He's someone she has to work to impress. This is where stoicism subtly plays a role. The philosophy encourages self-discipline, self-respect, and independence. A man who practices stoicism doesn't make himself scarce out of manipulation. Rather, he understands the value of his own time and energy. His focus is on self-growth and personal goals. He practices restraint by not becoming overly reliant on external validation, including the approval or affection of any one person. By focusing on his own life with purpose, he becomes naturally less available, not because he's trying to play games, but because he genuinely has things to accomplish and goals to chase. It takes self-control to not immediately respond to every text or rearrange plans at her request. And that's what draws her in. She sees a man who respects himself, who has boundaries, and who is disciplined enough to put his own needs first. She might not fully understand it, but she feels it. She feels that pull to earn his attention, to seek his approval. This sense of slight unavailability keeps her on her toes. She never quite knows where she stands, and that keeps the attraction alive. She's invested in figuring out what makes him tick, in understanding what she needs to do to win his full attention. The mystery keeps her interested, while the hint of uncertainty keeps her wanting to be better, to earn his time and affection. In essence, it's not about making her feel inadequate. It's about embodying a level of self-respect and purpose that naturally creates a dynamic where she's continually inspired to put in effort. And as she does, she feels a sense of accomplishment and connection that goes far beyond the surface level. Before we dive into the next concept, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think maintaining a bit of mystery can genuinely deepen attraction? Or do you believe that openness and availability are the keys to a strong connection? Leave a comment below and share your perspective. Or, if you'd rather keep it simple, just type, respect my own time. Your thoughts and insights always add so much to the conversation and I'm eager to see where everyone stands on this. Number four, competition and female desire. Here's the truth. Competition in attraction is real. 
think about it. We're all naturally drawn to what we perceive as valuable. And in the realm of relationships, women tend to be captivated by men who don't just blend into the background. They're intrigued by those who appear to have a certain spark, that rare mix of confidence and independence. This challenge, this sense of uniqueness, is often what keeps attraction alive. Let's set the scene. You're at a social gathering. She sees you talking easily with others, making people laugh, and having a great time without even focusing on her. She notices the way others respond to you, the respect, the laughter, the natural charisma that seems to flow effortlessly. Suddenly, you're not just another man in the room. You're someone worth noticing, worth pursuing. And what's interesting is that it isn't anything you're doing to get her attention. Instead, it's simply who you are. This is what makes you high value, a man who naturally inspires competition. At first, she might be surprised or even a little annoyed, but as time goes on, that feeling changes. She begins to see you as someone she can't quite control, someone she needs to put effort into to keep around. This dynamic creates a powerful attraction. She feels a subtle sense of competition, not because you're pitting her against others, but because she sees you as someone with options, a man who values himself enough to never settle for less than what he truly deserves. This is where stoicism subtly enhances the dynamic. When you stop seeking validation from others, you start to cultivate a strength that's grounded in who you are. Stoic philosophy emphasizes independence and self-completion. Instead of relying on external praise or the approval of a partner, you find value within yourself. You become a man who is driven by his own values, his own ambitions, and his own sense of purpose. This independence isn't just attractive, it's magnetic. It's easy to fall into the trap of needing constant validation in a relationship, especially when you're deeply invested. But practicing stoic principles of self-worth and emotional resilience gives you the inner strength to remain calm, composed, and, most importantly, complete. When you're not constantly chasing approval or acting needy, she senses this inner stability. She sees a man who isn't afraid to walk his own path. And that's exactly the type of man who inspires respect and desire. This sense of competition, of having to put in effort to win you over, keeps her engaged. She's drawn to the idea that you're not easily swayed, that she needs to continually work to be part of your life. It's not about making her feel less than or constantly proving herself. Rather, it's about her seeing you as a high-value partner whose time, attention, and commitment aren't handed out lightly. When she senses that you're not dependent on her validation, that you're a complete individual with or without her, it inspires a deep, enduring attraction. She views you as a man with self-respect and purpose, a man worth her attention, her affection, and yes, even a bit of competition. Number five, when stability kills attraction. Let's face it, stability is foundational for any lasting relationship, but predictability? That's a different story. When things become too routine, too comfortable, attraction often begins to wane. It's easy to fall into the pattern of doing the same things, saying the same things, and expecting the same responses. But if you want to keep that spark alive, there's a delicate balance to maintain. The right mix of stability with just a hint of unpredictability. Imagine this. You're in a long-term relationship, and over time, you've built a comfortable rhythm together. There's nothing wrong with that. Consistency and reliability are great. But there's a difference between being reliable and being predictable. If every date night looks the same, every conversation feels recycled, 
and every reaction is exactly what she expects. There's a risk that the excitement starts to fade. When she can predict everything you'll say or do, there's no more mystery, no sense of intrigue. And without that, attraction can begin to wither. Let's say you and your partner have settled into a predictable weekend routine. Maybe it's a movie night, take out from the usual spot, and an early bedtime. But what if, one weekend, you switched things up? Without a hint of warning, you surprise her with a spontaneous road trip to a nearby city or an unplanned night out dancing. You keep the destination a mystery, letting her excitement build with each passing mile or moment. In this small shift, she sees a side of you that's spontaneous, capable of surprising her even after all this time. She's reminded that there's more to you than the predictable rhythm of everyday life. This unpredictability isn't about playing games or trying to be someone you're not. It's about showing her that you're still full of surprises, that there's more to discover about you. She feels a renewed sense of excitement, knowing that even in a stable relationship, things don't have to feel stale. Stoicism teaches the importance of self-reliance and having a life that doesn't solely revolve around another person. When you nurture your own interests, hobbies, and passions, you naturally bring a sense of adventure and unpredictability into the relationship. You're not just her boyfriend or her partner. You're a person with a full, vibrant life. She'll see this, and it keeps her intrigued, knowing there's always more to explore and learn about you. When she senses that you're not rigidly stuck in a predictable mold, that you're willing to adapt and embrace the unexpected, it keeps her engaged. She's reminded that there's still mystery, still a spark of excitement that makes the relationship feel alive. It's not about destabilizing things or becoming unreliable. Instead, it's about showing that stability doesn't have to mean monotony. By keeping things just unpredictable enough, you maintain that essential intrigue. She stays interested, wondering what you'll do next, what new adventure or fresh insight you'll bring to the table. Stability and excitement don't have to be opposites. Together, they create a lasting attraction that deepens over time because she knows that with you, life is stable, but never boring. If you've made it this far, it shows you're committed to keeping that spark alive in your relationship by balancing stability with just the right amount of excitement. So, what do you think? Have you ever noticed a dip in attraction when things get too predictable? Or maybe you have a story of a time you shook things up to keep the magic going. Share your thoughts in the comments below, or simply type, with stability, but never boring. Now, let's keep going. Number six, high value beyond wealth. We've all heard the term high value man tossed around, often equated with wealth, status, or material success. But here's the reality. High value goes far deeper than what's in a man's bank account or the car he drives. True high value isn't about the things a man has. It's about the strength of his character, the respect he holds for himself, and the confidence that comes from a deep understanding of who he is. And when a woman encounters a man whose sense of worth isn't tied to material possessions, she feels something different something rare. Imagine meeting someone who walks into a room without needing to boast about his success, who doesn't seek to impress others with flashy items or titles. He doesn't flaunt his job, his earnings, or his possessions. Instead, he exudes a calm, unshakable confidence that's rooted in something deeper. This is the essence of a high-value man a man whose self-respect and confidence shine through regardless of what he owns. And for a woman, this kind of grounded strength is captivating. 
she sees a man who is genuinely secure in who he is, someone who doesn't need external validation to feel complete. Take, for example, a man who lives a simple, fulfilling life. He may not have a high-paying job or own the latest gadgets, but he's invested in his personal growth, has a strong moral compass, and respects himself deeply. When he's with a woman, he doesn't try to impress her with his belongings or social status. Instead, he listens intently, speaks thoughtfully, and carries himself with a quiet self-assuredness. He respects himself enough to uphold his own standards, and she can sense that his confidence isn't a performance. It's real, rooted in a strong sense of identity. She feels drawn to this man, not because of what he has, but because of who he is. This kind of value is closely aligned with Stoic philosophy, which places little importance on material wealth or social status. Stoics believe that true strength and worth come from within, an idea that has stood the test of time. When a man embodies this belief, he doesn't need to seek validation from others. His self-worth isn't contingent on what he possesses, but rather on his principles, discipline, and integrity. He's not shaken by the highs and lows of life, because his value isn't defined by things outside his control. This quiet resilience, this inner strength, is what truly makes a man high value. It's not the size of his paycheck or the car he drives, it's the way he approaches life with purpose, focus, and unwavering self-respect. He knows who he is, and he's confident enough not to chase approval or conform to society's idea of success. For a woman, this level of groundedness is powerful. She sees a man who doesn't need to prove anything to anyone, a man who, by simply being himself, commands respect. When she realizes that his confidence isn't a facade or a show, she feels a sense of security and respect for him. She doesn't view him as a man trying to prove his worth, but rather as someone who already understands it deeply. His value isn't tied to what he owns, but to the kind of person he chooses to be. This makes her feel naturally drawn to him because she knows his strength is genuine and his presence is something she can rely on. In the end, true high value is about integrity, resilience, and self-respect, qualities that can't be bought or faked. When a man embodies these traits, he doesn't need to rely on wealth or status to attract a woman. She'll sense the power of his authenticity, his quiet confidence, and the depth of his character. And that's the kind of value that lasts, the kind that keeps a respect and attraction alive. Number seven, the allure of concealed emotions. Here's an intriguing aspect of attraction. Sometimes it's what you don't say that leaves the strongest impact. When a man reveals everything he feels up front, he removes an essential layer of mystery, a depth that keeps a woman curious and engaged. It's not about being distant or indifferent, it's about mastering the art of measured expression. When you hold back just a bit, you create a space that invites her to lean in, to fill in the gaps, and to wonder what's truly beneath the surface. This subtle allure, the hint of something just out of reach, can be incredibly captivating. Take, for example, a man who doesn't often vocalize how much he cares. Instead, he shows it in subtle ways. A gentle touch, a look that lingers, a thoughtful gesture that speaks louder than any words could. When she's with him, she feels valued. Yet there's always a part of him that seems just beyond reach. He's not cold or distant, but he's not overly expressive either. One day, he surprises her with something small yet meaningful, something she once mentioned in passing, showing he's been listening all along. She realizes there's a depth to him that he's not openly showing, 
a reserve of emotions that she's only beginning to uncover. This subtle restraint draws her in. She starts to anticipate his next move, to wonder what lies beneath that calm exterior. Instead of having all the answers, she's given a glimpse, leaving her curious and eager to know more. She feels the effort, the attention, and yet there's a part of him that remains intriguingly concealed, which only heightens her interest. Stoicism champions the concept of emotional discipline, encouraging us to be mindful of our expressions and to avoid letting emotions take complete control. But this isn't about building walls or being cold. It's about learning the art of self-restraint, allowing your emotions to be present without overwhelming the other person. When you practice this kind of emotional discipline, you're not suppressing what you feel. You're channeling it in a way that adds depth and meaning to your actions. Being intentional with how you share your emotions shows a level of self-respect and thoughtfulness. It conveys that you don't need to rely on constant validation or grand displays to communicate your feelings. Instead, you let your emotions reveal themselves naturally, giving her the space to interpret and connect with you on a deeper level. This measured approach not only keeps her intrigued, but also creates a balanced dynamic where both of you are equally engaged. When you hold back some of your emotions, you invite her into a world of subtlety and nuance. She starts to invest in the relationship, trying to understand you, to connect the dots, and to find the depth within you. This gentle air of mystery keeps her engaged because it leaves room for discovery. She feels a sense of anticipation, knowing there's more to you than what meets the eye. She senses that you're a man who doesn't need to lay it all out immediately, a man who values both his own emotions and the journey of getting to know someone deeply. By keeping a layer of mystery, by letting her wonder just a bit, you create an attraction that goes beyond words. It's a connection that feels organic, one that builds naturally, and one where she feels compelled to invest just as much as you. The allure of concealed emotions lies in this balance, this dance between what is shown and what is left to be discovered. In a world where so much is shared instantly, this restraint, this subtlety, is a refreshing reminder that true connection often lies in what we choose to hold back. Number 8. The Strength of Indifference There's a unique kind of strength in being indifferent, not in the sense of disregarding someone's feelings, but in choosing not to be swayed by every change in mood or every challenge thrown your way. Imagine being able to stay steady and unaffected, even when things get complicated or emotions run high. For a woman, this kind of groundedness, this steady presence, speaks volumes. It's a powerful message that you're not easily rattled, that your sense of self doesn't depend on external validation or approval. When she sees that you don't jump at every emotional shift, it creates a sense of intrigue and respect that deepens her attraction to you. Imagine this. She's having a difficult day, perhaps even testing your patience, intentionally or not. Instead of getting defensive or letting her mood affect your own, you respond with calm and quiet confidence. You're present, you listen, but you don't let every shift in her energy pull you off center. This isn't about ignoring her feelings. It's about showing that you won't lose your composure or sense of self in the face of external events. This indifference, this calm detachment, draws her in because it communicates strength she senses that you're a man with a solid core, someone who won't crumble at the first sign of difficulty. The stoic approach to life encourages calmness, emotional control, and resilience in the face of external events. Stoicism isn't about being disconnected or distant. It's about cultivating a steady mind, 
one that isn't shaken by every passing mood or challenge. By practicing this controlled form of indifference, you're not shutting out emotions. You're choosing which ones to engage with and which to let pass by. This ability to remain undisturbed and composed shows a woman that you're not dependent on her reactions to feel good about yourself. It shows her that you value peace over drama and that you won't be pulled into chaos or neediness. Being calm and detached in this way shows a high level of self-respect and discipline. It's a form of emotional independence that makes you more attractive, not because you're cold, but because you demonstrate an ability to stay true to yourself. For a woman, this is deeply reassuring. She can sense that she's with a man who won't let temporary emotions or external pressures control him. And this emotional stability inspires trust, admiration, and a lasting attraction. When she senses that you won't react impulsively to every shift in her mood or test, it deepens her respect for you. She sees a man who is in control, who won't be easily influenced or led by external validation. Your indifference, balanced with genuine respect, keeps her intrigued and engaged because it creates a subtle challenge. She knows that you're a person with a strong core, a sense of self that doesn't waver based on outside circumstances. This form of steady indifference isn't about ignoring her or refusing to connect. It's about showing that you're a man who is secure in himself, who doesn't need to react to every little thing. This kind of confidence and stability make you more attractive because it signals that you're not only reliable, but also emotionally mature, a man who can be counted on to stay calm and steady no matter what. And for her, that quiet strength is both alluring and inspiring a quality that naturally draws her in and makes her respect and desire you even more. Number 9. Self-Worth Through Emotional Tests Finally, let's talk about emotional tests. Emotional tests, they're a reality in any meaningful connection, and whether or not she's fully aware of it, a woman will often challenge you to see how you respond. This isn't about playing games or trying to manipulate. It's a way of understanding your sense of self-worth and the stability of your confidence. If you're constantly shifting to meet her every demand, it signals a lack of personal grounding. But if you hold firm, remaining true to who you are, regardless of her expectations, you communicate something powerful. You are a man of value and principles. Imagine you're with a woman who expresses frustration or disappointment over something you've chosen to prioritize. A career goal, a hobby, or a boundary you've set. Instead of immediately rearranging your plans to suit her expectations, you remain steady. You respectfully explain your reasons, holding firm in your choices without becoming defensive. In that moment, she sees a man who isn't swayed by every shift in emotion, someone who values his own path enough not to compromise it for temporary harmony. This doesn't mean you're unwilling to meet her halfway. It means you have a solid core, an understanding of what truly matters to you. She may be momentarily frustrated, but ultimately she'll respect you for it. She realizes that she's with someone who won't lose himself or his purpose to seek validation or approval. A man who knows his worth and stays true to it. Stoicism teaches that self-respect and inner principles are the foundation of a meaningful life. To be truly high value, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of remaining grounded even when external pressures try to pull you in different directions. This is especially powerful in relationships, where emotional tests are almost inevitable. A stoic man doesn't need constant validation because he finds strength within. He respects himself enough not to bend to every whim or expectation, understanding that self-worth comes from holding on to his values, 
When you're rooted in these principles, you're able to respond to emotional tests, not with insecurity or defensiveness, but with calm confidence. This kind of response shows her that you're self-assured, that you won't compromise your character just to avoid conflict or seek approval. And for a woman, that kind of strength is incredibly attractive. She sees that she's with someone who respects himself, someone who won't sacrifice his integrity for superficial harmony. When she realizes you're not going to shift your values or identity based on every emotional test, she feels a deepened respect and admiration. She understands that she's with a man who is truly high value, not because of what he owns or how he looks, but because of his unwavering self-respect and inner confidence. This quality is rare and inspiring. It shows her that you're not here to prove anything to anyone. You're here to live with purpose and integrity, and she feels drawn to that. Passing these emotional tests isn't about ignoring her needs or being rigid. It's about holding on to who you are, showing her that you're strong enough to stay true to your own worth. When you're grounded in this way, she can trust that you're the same person through all the highs and lows, a stable presence who doesn't need to conform to please others. And that quiet, unshakable strength. It's exactly the quality that keeps her admiration and attraction alive, knowing that she's with someone who respects himself and lives authentically. As we conclude today's journey through the intriguing dynamics of attraction and self-respect, let's reflect on what we've uncovered. The balance between being emotionally available and maintaining a sense of self-worth is not just a strategy. It's a profound way to enhance your interactions and deepen your relationships. By integrating stoic virtues of self-control and independence, you not only attract genuine interest, but also cultivate a relationship built on mutual respect and curiosity. Today, we've explored how maintaining a calm confidence and a sense of mystery can significantly affect how you are perceived and valued. It's about finding that perfect equilibrium where your self-worth is evident, making you all the more appealing. Remember, the key is not to create distance for the sake of intrigue, but to be genuinely invested in your own growth and stability, which in turn makes you more desirable. If you found today's content enlightening, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more insights. Have thoughts or experiences you'd like to share? Leave a comment below. We'd love to hear how you apply these principles in your own life. Also, make sure to watch the recommended videos appearing on your screen now for more in-depth discussions and tips. Together, let's continue exploring the rich landscape of personal development and relationships. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.